but glutamic acid is actually the starting material for chlorophyll. Um, that is, this is where your carbon comes from in your chlorophyll pigment. As you've noticed here, you need iron and you need magnesium to be able to make chlorophyll. But iron is not actually a part of the chlorophyll pigment itself. Magnesium is, but iron is not. So what happens is you need iron, you need magnesium, but you need glutamic acid, and eventually you make chlorophyll. Okay. If you don't have glutamic acid, you can't make chlorophyll. You can dump as much iron as you want. You can dump as much nitrogen as you want. But again, you're not going to be able to make chlorophyll without glutamic acid, which is powerful. So when we're going through our trials in the beginning and we're learning, we're doing these replicated studies, and we're seeing a better green, I mean, it, it jumps out at you, a deeper green, just by using glutamic acid. And you say to yourself, why is that? This is why. So why don't you jump back in, Kurt, and, uh, and, and get Keith on the line here to talk about what the amino acids have done you know, for him and his color, his, his course. Yeah, right. And, you know, first of all, we're talking about improving plant efficiencies here by, by increasing protein production through nitrogen assimilation. We're not only through, not only are we impacting color here with, with better chlorophyll synthesis, but we're impacting photosynthetic efficiency. So uh, it's interesting, and I want to bring Keith on from from Quail Hollow to talk about a couple of his, his experiences and uh, um, some advantages that, that uh, Keith, that, that you you gained from the use of our Grow 40 product, which is our uh, which is our concentrated amino acid supplement that uh, that you used uh, prior to the the Wells Fargo P PGA Tour event this 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 year. Can you weigh in? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everybody, and uh, uh, we've been very impressed with the uh, the amino acids in our program. In fact, that I feel like that we don't have to put out as much nitrogen to get the color response. Um, goes along with what George said there. And uh, I feel like we have a much healthier plant, uh, better capable of handling stress of tournaments where we turn off the water and we expect to keep the color. Uh, we, we saw that firsthand this past year on our ryegrass. Um, even more so uh, impressed that the Bermuda grass base uh, that we're actually playing golf of during the Wells Fargo Championship. You know, the ryegrass just provides the color, but the uh, uh, the Bermuda grass base underneath uh, actually was in very, very good health. Uh, where we saw divots starting to recover through uh, from rhizome and stolen growth, um, and where we were able to stop putting out sand and seed to fill divots uh, before the tournament. And and all this comes with um, less than ideal soil temperatures, where you would think that you know, the, the Bermuda grass shouldn't start growing and um, and maybe the ryegrass is just not going to flourish as well uh, without a lot of nitrogen. And we saw both of those things happen uh, with two halves of the amino acid package. 